Okay, now we're going to put the uh, binding on the top along this outside edge. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm actually going to make a binding out of Epe. Since I used some of that in the neck, I'm going to bring it around as a binding as well. And I'm also going to use a, this is a black, white, black purfling. It's hard to see there in the video. And it's just going to go on the side there just like uh, you saw it placed. And I'm going to use a Dremel uh, with the router attachment. And I've also made a little uh, block here that will guide it. Sort of curved it so that I can get into those curved areas. And I can control the uh, depth and the width of the slot that way. Now you want to go ahead and start your channel. And you're going to make several passes. Take it little bitty chunks at a time. And this first channel is going to be kind of narrow. And then as you make your more passes, you can widen it out some. And I'm making this wide enough for the binding and the purfling. And I'm going to allow that binding to hang over the outside edge. And here you kind of get an idea. You're also going to make two channels. One for the purfling and then a deeper one for the binding. Then once you've got it uh, done, I like to steam the sides here since I'm making my own. Uh, the binding that you purchase for your guitar may not need steaming. But I'm going to start, um, especially around the cutaway, and steam that and work it into place. Uh, that little curve and the point of the cutaway are real critical that you get those right. And now you could glue it to the guitar body, um, like I'm going to do with this one piece, just to make sure that I get the curve right. Uh, but you can also... Uh, tape it and clamp it into the mold that we made and that's what I'm going to do with the rest of it once I've got that cutaway done the rest of it I can just tape and glue in here and there at the bottom you'll see it looks a little funny but that's two pieces that overhang they'll meet down at the bottom and then let that thoroughly dry and now we're going to start uh, applying the purfling. I've kind of bent a little joint in there. And I've already got a little piece here in the cutaway. Just glued that in. And you've got to miter these little corners so that they look right. Just cut those on like a 45. Or whatever is necessary for the angle you've got. You can see how I've mitered this one. And then there will uh, we'll just test that joint out and make sure it works. And you can see how those are going to match up there. One of the uh, signs of a good quality guitar is that those purflings and bindings are mitered just right. And I'm going to super glue it in. I just uh, I apply some in the channel and this is uh, not your standard super glue this is a little thicker it's almost a gel so it doesn't actually you know run all over the place and then you just want to take some pieces of tape have them ready and I'm going to start it right here in the corner. That's sort of the critical area. So I'm going to get it pushed in there right where it needs to go. I'm just going to kind of hold it in place and let that super glue set for a second before I start with the tape. As I apply more pressure, um, you'll see that as you apply that pressure down the side, you can pop out that end a little bit. So just kind of hold it in place and let it set first. And then you, 
continue on down the side just taping it in place kind of work a little bit of a length at a time you know don't super glue the entire top all at once and then try to do your binding you know work in small uh, lengths and here you can see I'm just kind of going to go probably 12 to 15 inches more around that curve and glue it in place and then when that's done you can scrape it flush and we can start to apply our binding you do the binding just the same way as you did that piece of purfling. Now you can see here I'm using a lot more tape just to make sure that it's good and secure. And again, I'm just using uh, super glue. And then once that's dried and in place, you want to uh, scrape and sand it flush with the sides and the top. A good cabinet scraper works here. You might want to take some sandpaper at first. Uh, but this will give you a very nice uh, binding edge. And notice also we're just doing the top for right now. This is so we can attach the neck without having to uh, work the binding around it later.